Hello Satanists. Welcome to part 3 of the Ghost Iceberg. We are finally going into Batchet Weird territory. Let's get started. Tier 5 Moldy Prequel Outfits Tobias has stated in an interview with Tony Gonzalez on Loudwire Nights prior to the release of Impera that the ghoul outfits have gone moldy in the shipping container they are stored in. There's been moments when you open up a wardrobe beginning of a tour, like the day before tour starting and everything arrives at whatever venue they were starting the tour at, and opening up a, a, um, a big wardrobe case that has been, you know, uh, slow boated over six weeks from some country somewhere. And what you open up is just mold. It's molded, like completely destroyed because uh, people, you know, has worn it and it's been packed up in a, a warm, 30 degrees Celsius sort of environment and then it's been put through uh, long travels and, and so a lot of it is actually destroyed, unfortunately. Fans jumped at this new piece of information to create a new era for character, Mold Ghoul. Reddit AMA, on the forum site Reddit, celebrities participate in an event called AMA, or ask me anything as a way to promote new projects or to just connect with fans. Ghost did one to promote Infestasumum, while the announcement post was made by user Papaya Meritus II. The answers were given by user Nameless Ghoul. SecularHaze.com SecularHaze.com was a promotional site set up to hype the release of Infestasumum. You could make an email offering to the band. You can only access the site through the Wayback Machine, as the domain was abandoned after the album's release. Garbage Pail Kids Garbage Pail Kids are collectible stickers that parody the popular Cabbage Patch Kids brand. They have been around since the 80s and make fun of celebrities and notable figures. There is one parodying Papa 3, named either Phantom Forge or Ghostly Gore, the former referencing Tobias Forge and the later referencing Mary Gore, Tobias's previous stage name. Tobias Twitter Account Tobias is open about not wanting to partake in social media, and the most we get from him is official ghost posts, but he has an abandoned Twitter account. At Tobias Forge was used during 2013 and 2014 and only has 11 tweets. He talked a little about music and asked how people are. Interestingly he made several tweets about ghost, trying and failing to convince people he was not Papa. Sister Imperator Drama Sister Imperator was suddenly recast in the middle of the prequel chapters, using a car accident and full body injury as an in-universe reason for the new actress. Tobias made vague mention of drama with the original actress in Metal Hammer issue 320 where he states, All of a sudden, you've an actress who decides to start making fucking trouble and makes herself unemployable. No clarification has been given to what he means. Papaganda Lost Episode Papaganda was meant to have a third episode, it was even shot, but Ghost and Noisy had some kind of falling out and it was never aired. The apparent plot is given to us by user PSP Reviewer 100, citing old sources. It would feature Papa 2 wildly partying with women, drinking and being a goofball in his mansion the clergy headquarters. Sister Imperator would be very mad with Papa 2. Similar to the first summoning video, it would briefly feature Papa 3 and the new ghouls waiting for Papa 2 to be removed and for them to take over. Until Noisy releases Papaganda Episode 3, we will never be able to confirm if this is the real plot. Papa 3's suit predicted his fate. In the later stages of Era 3, Papa 3 would wear a stylized tuxedo-like suit instead of his robes. This suit was actually styled after King Gustav III. He was known for overthrowing the government and being assassinated. It is not hard to see the parallels between the two, as Papa III took over the ministry after Papa II was fired and was the only one to be shown being killed in Chapter 3. Tobias is a Freemason, as a last ditch attempt to turn the lawsuit back in their favor. The ex ghouls made the claim in an appeal that Tobias was a Freemason, and since the judge was also a Freemason, this tainted the lawsuit as members were meant to protect each other. The judge claimed to have not known about Tobias's membership and the claim was dismissed. Tobias has never come forward to confirm or deny the claim. The Dorman. The Dorman is the name given to well. The Dorman and Dance Macabre. 
He was portrayed by Bradley Bailey. Fans fell in love with the doorman due to his creepy appearance and dramatic acting. Sadly Bradley passed away in 2021. Concert Death On the 31st of May 2018, a fan named Jeff Fortune had a medical episode during the Milwaukee tour date, causing him to be taken to hospital, and Ghost cancelling the rest of the show out of respect. Sadly Jeff passed away. Ghost announced a new tour date on the 31st of October called back for the second act to honor Jeff and to finish the show. They created an exclusive shirt with Copia and Jeff trick or treating as Michael Myers, with proceeds of the shirt sales to be given to the family. Tier 6 Papa 2 in a webcomic, so when I made the iceberg I kind of forgot that there have been multiple appearances of different Papas in printed comics, so this entry should be called Ghost Comic Features. Ghost have had a few minor appearances in comics over the years. Both Papa 1 and 2 appear in the comic, Harry and Glenn Forever and Ever, and Papa 2 appears in Creeps number 15. And of course Papa 4 was featured on the variant cover of Batman Death Metal number 2. Alpha got his name from a fanfic, self-explanatory, while it is kind of common knowledge it is just weird. Ergul Cam, originally called SRF and downloaded is a short behind the scenes vlog shot by Mauro Rubino, who was the original keyboardist. It shows the band packing up after Sweden Rock Festival and traveling to Download Festival, and the band's time there, including playing with Down, and hanging out with other musicians. He uploaded it to his Facebook page in 2017. The name Ergul Cam comes from the YouTube re-upload. So this is actually not the only vlog Mauro made, as he has three other short vlogs showing behind the scenes of the band's European and American tours. Only SRF and Download was re-uploaded to YouTube, making it the most well-known vlog. The Devil's Hands short film. The Devil's Hands is a short comedic documentary made by the crew during Era 3. They gave a satirical look behind the scenes of the tour, talking about the experience and giving great insight to the ins and outs of clergy life on the road. They also all end up naked, for some reason. Papa 3x Copia Plush Fanfic A genius marketing strategy by AO3 user Dr. Thick is a fanfic about Papa 3 fucking the plushie. It was written not long after the plush was released and it is well written considering the content. Tier 7 G host RM. At RM host was the only account the official ghost Twitter account followed, and no one can figure out why. They did finally unfollow the account in 2022. They only retweet ghosts tweets, but their likes show they are either Japanese or a weeb. It's not Tobias in the mask. A conspiracy some fans have come up with. It states that on tour it is not Tobias performing in the costume. For what gain? No one knows. Though in a way this conspiracy is true at times. When the band was given the Papa 2 and then to Papa 3 the former Papa would be portrayed by someone else. At a final gig named Death, the copia that looks to see if Niall is really dead before being turned into Papa 4 is not Tobias. As he would have to be ready in the Papa 4 outfit. And this happens for music videos like, he is, and Rats. Tobias didn't create Papa Emeritus. The lawsuit revealed that Pell Horge, who worked with Martin Persner, created the name Papa Emeritus in 2005, and years later allowed Martin to use it for Ghost, as he and Tobias felt it would work for the band, as they had just uploaded the Opus demo to MySpace. While it seems there are no legal issues with the name, Pell feels he should be given more credit where it's due. Mexico's first COVID death. A final gig named Death took place in Mexico on the 3rd of March, 2020. On the 19th of March it was reported a 41-year-old man had died from COVID. The widow said that he would have most likely gotten it at the concert, though also states the original cause of death was ruled as pneumonia from influenza. Tier 8. Copia X Papa 3 Decapitated Head Fanfic. First of all, what the fuck? Second of all, why the fuck? Don't you forget about your friend death is a fanfiction on AO3 and it is what you think it is, and it is also well written. It appears the OP has deleted their account, 
but the fanfic remains. There is a whole subgenre of WTF fanfiction. Some dishonorable mentions include Olive Oil by Castain My Ass, and the all of the fucking Copia X Corn fanfiction out there. And there we have it, the ghost iceberg is complete. This has been a long and tiring journey. Thank you for sticking with the series.